What's up, everybody? Tech Twins here. And today, for Christmas, not today, today's not Christmas, whatever. Um, for Christmas, we got this Elgato Stream Deck. And if you don't know what a Stream Deck is, it's basically a thing where you can press a bunch of buttons and make it do stuff. Simple? Okay. Evolve your content. Now, on the side of the box, we have Stream Deck with some tape that we're gonna, um, kill in a second. Customization on your terms, e blah blah blah. Pause the video if you want to read all this. This works for Mac and Windows 10, compatible. Without further ado, let's get to the inside of the box. Flick, it's knifey 0.5.0, whatever, um, so we can't flick it. Okay, so in here, we have the Stream Deck. Now, the buttons feel very good. Wow. Man, I feel like we're reviewing a mechanical keyboard. This guy's over there! I mean, this would work for my keyboard, except I don't have weapon wit. F. This would work for my keyboard. Reload. T. G. No, no, wait. And then these are my weapon slots. I just can't use heals or sniper. I go here. Anyways, this is the stream deck. Uh, let's do the quick start guide because, you know, you got to do the boring stuff first. Here's the stream deck. As you can see, we have a cable, and this is the stand. Now, let's try to get the stand to work. So this is the stream deck. Now let's quickly do an ASMR test for some reason. So it does sound relatively quiet, so it's not going to pick up your mic and uh, disrupt your viewers if you're streaming. Yeah, it's most certainly not going to pick up in your mic. It's... Pretty quiet. So to start the sand, this folds up like this, and this whole thing kind of pops out. And as you see, there is latches for this to go into, so I'm going to do the top latch. Should just rest in there, or pop in. Okay, so it is just going to rest in here, and as we see, this will hold the Elgato Stream Deck. It has a little lip under here. No, it doesn't. Then you should just be able to drop the Stream Deck in its little stand and set it down. Last but not least, in the box, we have looks to be bull crap you don't need. So here is the Stream Deck, what it looks like on its stand. Here is the USB cable. Comes with a twist tie. Now on the top of the USB port, we have like a slip out cover. This looks to be a gold plated USB hooking up to the Stream Deck for easy connectivity to your PC or Mac. Now let's show you how to set up the drivers. So the first step is you're going to want to go to elgato.com slash en blah blah blah. You don't have to type it in. It'll be in the description because you already know. But anyways, you're going to go to select your product and select the product you have. Uh, Stream Deck XL, Stream Deck, or Stream Deck Mini. Here I have the Stream Deck, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then it should do, this is the for Windows one. This is compatible with any Stream Deck. If you have a Mac, just go ahead and select Mac and it will show you the Mac. But I have Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and click download. Here it will download a .exe or an MSI file, whatever, it depends what it does. Uh, you're just going to want to click on it once it's done downloading. Hit next. Hit I accept. Next. Next. Install. As you see, I have a little camera of the Stream Deck and all of its buttons, so you can monitor what the Stream Deck does as we assign things to it. Screen went black, but uh, it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. Click on finish, and it should open up. Uh, so this is the software, and as we can see, this says welcome. And we can actually change what is here, so it says welcome, and then it's taking me to this URL, but it's okay, because uh, I do not want to. Now here you can see OBS, uh, you can select a scene, play audio, stop audio. But let's say if I want to, I want on the top left over here to switch to my gaming scene, I can drag scene to the top left, make a title, gaming, collection, uh, no clue what that is. Scene. The Elgato remote control plugin is missing. Please reinstall Stream Deck, then try again. If that happens, go ahead and close Stream Deck, close OBS Studio if it's open, and then reopen everything, because then that will fix, most likely. And if that doesn't fix it, uninstall and reinstall Stream Deck. But in this case, it works for me, so collection, I'm just going to make it untitled. And you can set this to a scene, so for a... For right now, I'm going to set it to go to BRB, so then I can click on this. I'm probably going to name it BRB, and I click on it, and it goes to be right back. Then I can go ahead and drag scene to here and make that scene 2, which is the one I'm using. So BRB, 
Scene 2. And you can also do game capture, stream deck, create folder, switch folder, a bunch of this stuff. This is a few of Streamlabs OBS. It works kind of the same. System, you can do stuff on there. Twitter, you can set it to tweet something. You can set it to do a chat message, see how many viewers you have. Set temperature, adjust temperature, set brightness. Twitch studio, you could do a bunch of stuff. You could turn on your voice mod voice changer. You could turn it off. You could do a bunch of stuff. So basically, you're only limited to what whatever it says you can do. If you click more actions, this is more actions. Uh, so you can install and uninstall like plugins. So this one allows you to change your lights. This one, OBS tools, stream elements, OBS live. I'll install that. This one allows you to control shadow play with it. That's pretty cool. This one's a stopwatch, world time, YouTube ticker, channel statistics, Zoom plugin. It's just absolutely insane. So that is the Elgato Stream Deck software tutorial and unboxing and setup. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.